Hi everyone, Linda Reed, Anna and welcome back to another episode of Ask Linda. In Ask Linda, we tackle those questions that you have that pops up in business and marketing life. And in this episode, we are going to explore what the new Facebook looks like. If you have just got it, if you've had it for a little bit of a while, we're going to take a behind the scenes tour of what the new Facebook looks like, how you can use it, where to find things. And I am literally going to take you as a tour because I've only had it for a couple of days as I explore the new Facebook so you'll hear my thoughts along the way about what I think how things are going to work and maybe what changes you need to make on your profiles and that along the way so grab a pen and paper I'm going to duck off screen and we are going to delve into the world of the new Facebook okay everyone here we are on my profile for the new Facebook. Now this is my personal profile and there's a little bit of difference between personal profiles and pages. So on a personal profile, we can see that our image is in the middle here and our cover image is here and you can see I've got a weird hand sticking out on my cover image. So what we might do is we might just update my cover photo very shortly to make sure that everything is moving through in the right direction and it's looking all good. And we might just see if we can take the coffee version of me very quickly being able to drag that in it's very pixelated uh we might go cancel that uh try one more quickly i haven't got photos that are sized to be in cover photos at the moment but we'll see what we can grab and we can pop in for the moment here through my photos and see if there's something nice matching slippers are funny um we might just say oh there's a there's a beautiful one of the lovely uh, vines and some birds near my house so I can drag it and I can drop it and then I can hit save changes so I want to make sure those leaves are sitting there nicely and just hit save changes so this is my personal profile from here you can see my about tab you can see my friends profile you can see the photos you can see my archive and you can see more and depending on who's got access to whatever it is coming through you'll get more information your intro here is going to be key when you're networking inside Facebook groups to make sure that you've got the pages that you run and you look after so which pages are you at um, and you can optimize your profile to making sure that you put in your details and if you need to hit edit details just hit edit details here and it will come up I don't know why my idea strategist isn't live we'll pop that up there as well um, and we'll make a few just little changes here you can add your high school you can add details you can add your current city if you want to and location um, if, if you want to um, I can put one in Bendigo if I need to you can add any websites that you might want to feature on your profile um, so what, what's it going to be public so feature links on your profile set to friends or you can set them to a public one so if you want to make those links public they're there so websites what locations all of those sorts of things are there um, and future links on your profile so the audience to public okay um, social links are here and details are there so we hit up to hit save and update my information and there we go now our websites are public as well so the websites that I've got on my details so the business 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 one my one media connections all of that is there in public this area there here is your featured photos and you can edit your featured photos uh, and that's been done in some other tutorials and I'll go through working through optimizing profiles a little bit later any other photos any friends lists life events all of those things are there so that's your personal profile um, lots of extra white space when it comes to those areas from there. So if we go to our news feed, you'll get to see what the news feed looks like now. So we'll just head back to Facebook. And on Facebook here, you can see that I've updated my profile. We've got a news feed down the sidebar. We've got a whole heap of shortcuts that we can edit and make our own. Um, we've got our pages over here. We've got our contacts here as well. Your message button is up the top here. Your create new post button is here. And your notifications bar is here. Over here, you've got your pages icon to actually just go across to your business pages. Um, you've got the watch tab and then you've got your groups tab over here. So the one we're going to delve into now is the business page side of things. And we'll just head across to my one because it's easy. Uh, and we'll head across to my Facebook page over here. And now over my Facebook page over here, there are two ways that you want to look at this. You want to view as a visitor. And if I open this as a new tab, you can see it as we go along here see what it looks like as a visitor and then you've got your view and your view down here has your ad center your inbox your resources your tools your insights for being able to see what's happening on your Facebook page 
your page quality, um, your edit page info and your settings. So there's some stuff changing in amongst here. And as you start to edit, you can see some of it still looks a bit old. Um, as you go to edit page info, some of the stuff that you'll try and edit over the next little while isn't 100% optimized yet. So you might want to go through and change things um, over the area. Over the over a little while um, now, my hours have not been select. No hours available. Um, I can do open selected hours, but that's one of the things I talk about setting your privacy policies. So I go back to my home page over here, and if I'm viewing my page as a visitor, this is what your page looks like to your people. So that was a tab I clicked open earlier. Visit your page as a visitor, um, and it's got our posts in here. It's got the upcoming live videos sitting here. So this is about where scheduling your live videos is really, really cool. Um, the information, the likes, the how to find me, where's my website, where's my email, all the social links are there for the page. Um, my posts are there. Some video feeds, some upcoming tat information, page transparency, um, and. Facebook are promoting themselves, asking them to add people to Facebook. My um, send details are here. And the menu up the top now is about is about videos, photos, and then under more is things like your shops and your, e your services and your email signups and all of those sorts of things from there. So you can see that my services tab and that pops underneath here. Um, so under here, you've got your page settings. Um, I would love to see my shop popping up definitely even more um, and it hasn't been designed for the new Facebook shop so it's not allowing me to do that without putting a product in but if you wanted to see how you put a product in I'll actually quickly do that for you while we're here tonight because we can because I haven't done one for a while I haven't I tried to get the new shops and didn't and now I'm having to do put another product in so we're just going to go to my shop for a minute and we're going to put a brand new product in now the only thing you can do with Facebook with products is make sure that they are a physical product so for me I can put the five minute marketing cards in and I can put the perfectly imperfect mugs or I could put the um the the book in and I should most probably get in there and do all of them so watch me over the next couple of days as I get that sort of stuff up here so I'm just going to um grab the product description for the five minute marketing cards and we'll go here it's got that stock list in here beautiful okay going control c okay going back to my shop over here and we're going to add photos and i'm hoping that i've got one of these in the page photos beautiful we do we have the five minute marketing cards here they're in some page photos so we'll grab those ones I like my little critters with it, well, and Louise's little critters. Um, we can pop the details in here. Now the product is currently on sale. We've got, so the price is 49.95, but on sale for 39.95. Um, now we need to look at five minute marketing ideas deck is what the name of the product is. So we'll copy and paste that in so that we don't make any mistakes, control C. And this is how you add a product. To your shop now the checkout URL because we are in Australia and we don't have the new shop feature yet we go cop go cop well, cut or copy and we can pop our URL in here do we want to share the product on our page as you if you add your product slowly definitely you want to do that um, the, the product description is new so you can see that I've got all my information there now just want to maybe move the photos around a little bit um, and so I'm just gonna see if I can do that we might just close that one off for a second Make sure that we've got our featured images the way we want them to be. So I, I can add that photo back in if I wish to here and just going from page photos and just add that desktop one in, which I will do. Okay. And just hit use photo. And then I'm just going to, you know, it only needs one critter shot. Most probably doesn't need two critter shots. So we'll, we'll use my critters uh, and get them all started from there. So there we go. You can see the five minute marketing cards are there. Hit add product. And then when we go back to my public view page, we should see my shop. So hitting add product. Okay, so my first product is now added. If we refresh this page here, viewing as a visitor, we should see, fingers crossed, the shop tab pop up. Nope, still not popping up. It's very interesting. I think Facebook will get that there eventually. But that's one of the things that I did notice. We haven't been able to actually set up the tabs 100% the way we'd like them to be. So in your page settings over here, you've got your view as a visitor, you've got the promote for options, 
Uh, um, you've got the opportunity to like, you follow, share, create a page, like as your page, unlike as your page, just pe depending where you sit from there. So on our home tab over here, let's go and have a look at this. And hopefully my products, my products most probably waiting approval from Facebook. So we maybe shouldn't gr uh, grinch about that. On the page here, you'll get a brief introduction of your insights. You'll get your about information. You'll get your promote website option. You've got your edit your page info. So all the editing stuff, the stuff that you need to edit now is pretty much around here. So you contact your location, your hours, um, anything more that you wish to add in there is all there. So it's about editing through here. So it seems to be very much editable through the new areas from there. You can edit your page info also from here, from this one about who you are and what you do. And then under settings, over on this left hand side it's here, you will find things like the automate audience optimization and the tab settings and that were somewhere hidden in, in this area um, over the last little while. Your profanity filters are on, your page moderation, if you want to block any words from the pages, it will download a page or merge your duplicate pages or delete pages are in here. So the page settings are still all in there. Um, the page support, appointment settings, link publications are in here, page management history is in here, your activity logs in there, your what feature is, your branded content, your people and other pages, the groups that you have is also in here. So the group settings are there, which ones, which ones are you admins of? So which manage the roles of groups links for this page. So who's managed, who's, who's a moderator. Um, and then you've got your messaging and then you've got your templates and tabs here under page settings. Sorry guys, templates and tabs. So you can edit your template and turn your tabs on or off as you go through. Um, I would like to get my reviews up a little bit higher. So let's see if we can look at dragging and dropping those reviews up a little bit higher in my feed. And there you go. That is one of the glitches you're going to get with Facebook at the moment. Oops, something went wrong and they're working on trying to fix it. So that is part of that process that we're going through right now is they are fixing things as they go along and find it. You'll find that you've got event ticketing if you've been given the option to do pay, paid events. Mine are currently through Eventbrite and that's how we've got our setup. Um, and you've got your advanced messaging features over here that you can jump into and set up. Some of it's still looking on the old settings. Some of it is still looking on the new settings. So We've got our Facebook um, feed, go back to our Facebook feed, for example, and that's just some of the stuff that you can look at in the new Facebook and where you can find those settings. The other one um, is over here inside your group settings and inside your group, you've got a feed of groups and you've got the groups that you're managing. So you get the most re recent information. So if you're wanting to look at your groups on the fly and see what's been said, you can literally just have a look and a screen scroll down there or you can go through to groups that you might be a member of and have a, have a chat and those sorts of things from there. Um, so one of the groups that we, we run is the Creating Communities with Facebook groups, which of course is going to have to update um, because of this situation here. Um, and you can see the cover image maybe needs a little bit of updating on that one. Um, the group members are there. The information needs to be set through, but our post topics are here. So all your group settings are down the side here. Your member request stuff pops up in here. Um, that person hasn't actually signed up for the course. We saw that one come through on the weekend. Um, and the request age, so profile pictures, you can look at all those sorts of things. Your membership approvals are here. Your pending posts are here as well. Um, and any act, act scheduled stuff. So all of your settings for your group are just down along the right hand side here. So how's the group set up? How do you work with it? All of that information is there on the left hand side. So that's where you will find the things and the settings for your groups. So back to our homepage just for one more time because I didn't cover one thing that when we'll see if those reviews are actually coming out. Let's go, let's go view as a visitor again, open a new link. Let's see how that looks. One of the things that I didn't mention that was coming up around here was um, your new cover image space. So our cover image space, our image now sits, our profile image now sits here. This is where people get notified where you're live and all of those sorts of things. And then your cover image is here. Now you can edit your cover image to edit, make a slideshow, upload a new photo or choose from photos to be able to change all from here, just the same as you can your profile image. So they are still pretty much the same. Your about information once again is over here and you can edit either from here or edit down the sidebar over here under settings and then go editing. Your publishing tools are in here and fingers crossed it will come up quickly.
and that's where you'll create posts, do expired posts. You've got your creator studio stuff. You've got your branded content. If someone is working with you as a brand and you've got your ads and you've got your, your shops and your products are here as well uh, when you get the new shop features. Uh, you can see my, my shop product is there now. Um, you'll have pending orders and those sorts of things if you're managing Facebook shops and then you've got your published events and your archive of events as well. And that's my published events that you can see. So as things are moving through, this shows you which events we've got coming up and how they're going, what the reach has been on the event and what the level of response has been as well. So that is it. Okay, guys, there is my tour of the new Facebook. As you saw, we saw some glitches. We saw some new stuff that's happening. And we saw a couple of changes that we need to make along the way. Happy updating your Facebook to the new look. Um, one thing that I didn't show you was how you can switch back to the old profile. So if you hang on to the end of this video, I will duck off one more time and show you that. And, then we'll and the one done. thing I didn't show you when I was recording that all together is where can you switch back if you don't like this and you need to switch back, you can. And it's over here and you just go switch to classic Facebook and you can also activate dark mode as well. There are just a couple of tips to help you through. As I said, let me know how you're finding the new Facebook in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts, any tips or tricks that you've picked up along the way.